Get ready to test your astronomical skills in this quiz about the night sky, because I've got 13 questions for you on stars. This is Trivia with Buds. It be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and I am excited, excited, excited that you are listening. Thanks for checking out the show. It is a fun show to do. I'm not going to lie to you. I like waking up, I like recording it, and I like posting it on Libsyn. That is my podcasting host service, and uh, it's pretty reasonable if you're looking to start your own show in any way. I think I have uh, 800 megabytes a month and uh, upload the show every single day, and I never run out. I think it's 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. And how do I pay for that? I pay for that with uh, the use of my amazing Patreon subscribers. Thank you for everyone that is on Patreon and listens to this show. You guys are my rock and my roll. You're my rock and roll. And you help me do the show every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you like the show, you can donate over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds, throw a few bucks my way for a buck. You get a thank you every episode in the show notes, in the, uh, the footnotes of each episode, and sometimes a shout out on the air, uh, for $5, you get to pick a topic that I am guaranteed to do within the month. And, uh, we're doing a special offer right now where you get a pin from the office. If you're into collectibles, you will love that pin. It's of Kevin about to spill a giant pot of chili. For 30 bucks a month, you can get our t-shirt club, like my friends Manny and Carrie, sending them t-shirts every month. They are wearing them. They are taking pictures in them, especially Manny, and uh, I appreciate that, and uh, I appreciate those donations. Thank you for your pledges. Thanks for your patronage. Uh, If you want to join it, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Lots of fun stuff over there. I am getting ready to do some shows next month, guys. October 19th through the 21st, I'll be in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a place called the South Side Social. We had about 100 players last time I was down there in July, so hopefully we can replicate that with some spooky trivia. We're going to do some Walking Dead, some zombie stuff, some Halloween stuff, and uh, if you wear a costume, you will get bonus points. We'll be giving away raffle prizes and all kinds of cool stuff. Tickets are $10 on my website, TriviaWithBuds.com. Just go down to events and scroll until you see October 19th. We're doing Pop Culture Bingo and October 21st, that's Spooky Trivia. That'll be a ton of fun if you listen anywhere near the South, especially the Chattanooga area. Today's episode comes from a book, which I go to every once in a while for this show. It's called Uncle John Presents the Ultimate Trivia, uh, the Ultimate Challenge Trivia Quiz. I think I bought this on clearance at Borders back in the day. And uh, today's quiz is about stars. There's 13 questions. We'll see how many of those you can get in just a second. And uh, by just a second, I mean right now. We're going to dive into those questions right now. Here we go. All right, here we go. Starry, starry quiz from page 199 of this Uncle John's Trivia Bathroom Reader. Question number one, what constellation of stars is named for a winged horse? Question one, what constellation of stars is named for a winged horse? Question number two, what's the brightest star in the night sky? What is the brightest star in the night sky? Question number three, who famously painted the starry night? Question three, who painted the starry night? Question number four, what planet is the evening star when it's in the west and the morning star when it's in the east? Question four, what planet is the evening star when it's in the west and the morning star when it's in the east? Question number five, what candy bar is named after the galaxy that holds our solar system? Number five, what candy bar is that? Question number six, within the constellation Orion, sorry, Orion, that's the one, you can see a giant, uh, you can see a red giant that's one of the largest stars known. What is its name? Within the constellation Orion, you can see a red giant that's one of the largest stars known. What is its name? Question number seven, in what science fiction film saga is the Death Star capable of destroying a planet with a single shot? Number seven. 
Question number eight. Who said we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars? Number eight. Who said we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars? Question number nine. Falling stars or shooting stars are actually meteoroids burning up where? Number nine. Falling stars or shooting stars are actually actually meteoroids uh, burning up where? Question number 10, the Earth's sun is a middle-aged star and has about how many years left until it reaches old age and dies? Number 10, the Earth's sun is a middle-aged star and has about how many years left until it reaches old age and dies? Number 11, what color are the most frequent and inconspicuous stars in the universe? What color are the most frequent and inconspicuous stars in the universe? Number 12, in the animated Disney movie, Pinocchio, what character sings When You Wish Upon a Star? And number 13, the first moon landing occurred in what year? Was it 1959, 1969, or 1979? All right, those are your 13 questions on stars. Let's take a quick sound effect break, and we'll be back with those answers to see if you are a bright star or uh, one that has uh, burned out. All right, here we go with the answers to the star quiz. Let's see how you did with your astronomical skills in these questions about the night sky. Question one, what constellation of stars is named for a winged horse that is Pegasus? Pegasus, the white horse from Hercules, if you like that Disney movie. Number two, what's the brightest star in the night sky? It is Sirius or Dog Star. Sirius or Dog Star, which is uh, like Sirius satellite radio. I think they're... uh, logo looks like a dog or used to look like a dog number three who painted the starry night that was vincent van gogh he used to cut his ears off when he liked people number four what planet is the evening star when it's in the west and morning star when it's in the east that is venus men are from mars women are from that place i think Number five, what candy bar is named after the galaxy that holds our solar system? That's a Milky Way. I'm a big fan of Milky Ways. Um, That was probably my favorite candy bar as a kid. I liked caramel, or caramel, as people say. And uh, I don't know, I thought that was good. I haven't really had one. I guess I have the fun size ones around Halloween quite a bit, but I have not bought a full size Milky Way since I was probably 10. Number six, within the constellation Orion, you can see a red giant that's one of the largest stars known. What is its name? Number six, the answer was Beetlegeist. Like Beetlejuice? That's weird. <laughs> Beetlegeist. All right. That's where they got that from, I guess. Number seven, in what science fiction film saga would you have the Death Star? That's, of course, Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, sometimes when I do, like, uh, you have to name certain movies for bonus rounds and things, people will say Star Wars. And uh, sometimes I'm like, we well, have to say the whole title. And they get mad at me because they say the first one's called Star Wars. But I thought it was called Star Wars A New Hope. Or did they add that later? Someone let me know because people get very mad very easily about that. Number eight is uh, about uh, a quote. Who said, we're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. That could be anybody uh, from the 40s to the now, you know, but it was uh, Oscar Wilde, Oscar Wilde, number eight. I think in my head, I think Oscar Wilde and Orson Welles are the same person because they have the uh, same person because they have the same initials. Does anyone else think that? Let me know. Number nine, we had this one falling stars or shooting stars are actually meteoroids burning up where in the Earth's atmosphere. Number nine, number 10, the Earth's sun is a middle aged star and has about how many years left until it reaches old age and dies? Five billion. We got five billion years left with that sun, and then it's cahoots, I guess. Number 11 was uh, what color are the most frequent and inconspicuous stars in the universe? Those would be red. Red star? Is that a thing? Is that a sci fi series? Red star? Red dwarf? Hmm. Number 12, in the animated Disney movie, Pinocchio, what character sings When You Wish Upon a Star? Jiminy Cricket, my mother-in-law's favorite Disney character, and uh, one of the first pins we got at Disneyland for my daughter Annabelle's Disney hooded sweatshirt. She has it on at all times uh, when she goes there. It's a Jiminy Cricket pin. Number 13, the first moon landing occurred in what year? 59, 69, or 79? That was 1969. And I think Alan B. Shepard was involved, right? Yeah. Was he? I don't know. That was the high school I went to. Palos Heights, Illinois. Alan B. Shepard High School. Those are your questions for today, everybody. Starry, starry quiz. 
how did you do? Did you get all 13? Did you get 12? Did you get one? I would have probably got about half of those for sure. Mostly the Milky Way one. Definitely would not have gotten the Beetlegeist one. But maybe you did. Maybe you're real smart. You're probably smarter than me, and you're listening, and you're loving this show. If you love the show, you can go on iTunes, leave it a nice five-star review. That would be super helpful. You could also tell a friend about it. That would be super helpful. You can go on Patreon and throw a few bucks. That would be super helpful. Whatever you want to do, I'm on board with it. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Thank you.